What's up guys, today we're gonna do some RoboElectric testing. So where we left uh, last time was uh, testing uh, our presenter with uh, Makita and uh, what we did basically is tested this part of uh, chat contract, the presenter part. And now what's remaining is testing view. And basically you could test view it's just the same way as we tested presenter by uh, creating a class which implements uh, chat contract view and has uh, all the references to layout uh, views and you just pass them through constructor then getter setters implement uh, methods and uh, basically instantiate this class in the activity and uh, in your test even though i don't like approach of it it uh, didn't even work because uh, i had recycler view adapter as a field and uh, even though I mocked it, it uh, still gave me a null pointer exception when calling notify item inserted. So if you don't remember, we have the chat activity. And when you click send message, uh, uh, the message is added to the list here and uh, it calls notify item inserted. So that's uh, what I wrote to test for it. So that uh, verify that uh, adapter is being called with the notify item inserted. And it gave me a null pointer exception with Makita, which is uh, probably some kind of bug uh, with extending the Android's frameworks because Makita works with uh, mocking context and stuff, but uh, it didn't work with mocking my child of recycler view adapter. So I figured it's it's kind of like not possible slash uh, too complex to test view with Makita. That's why we're gonna test it with RoboElectric today. Let's delete this view. And here's our test, I already pre-written it. So you need to annotate it as uh, to run with RoboElectric test runner and then set up activity. And here you've got a reference to your activity. Here I've got all the views and the other objects that I mock because testing with RoboElectric is still kind of like unit testing where you mock all the other objects. It's not uh, integrated testing yet, but it kind of feels like integrated testing with the uh, inflating layout. In uh, before all tests, we set up activity and let's see what it does. It builds activity and here what happened is it calls activities on create, start, resume methods, and then just returns the reference to this activity. So basically what you get is uh, all the initial activities lifecycle methods are being called, layout inflated, so that you can easily find views by these in your test without the need of uh, creating the getters in your activity. The only thing that is uh, needed to be extra done for testing is creating setters for mocked objects like a uh, recycle view adapter, array list of strings, which is uh, just list of messages, and the presenter. Again, since it's unit testing, we worry only about testing our view, and uh, I just have the basic layout with the uh, views in there. We don't care about the layout now, and we don't care about setting up recycler view, that's all the stuff you just test view. And also with RoboElectric, you can test listeners. So in MVP, you can see that uh, there is an arrow goes from view to presenter. Those are listeners. When user clicks a button, we have those methods in our presenter, right? But uh, we don't set up listeners in our presenter. We set them in view and uh, listeners delegate the work to presenter. We could actually test this with, with RoboElectric. Here I've got some tests for views just to test that uh, our view listeners delegate the work correctly to the presenter. Again, before runs, uh, before every test we've got our fresh activity each time here we set up some mocks for activity which we're gonna test with makita and that uh, we call the correct methods of uh, those mocks and also i mocked a uh, list of strings here uh, when we get the size of it it's empty for now so i just go top to bottom by testing all the methods the first one is clear message and the input was empty result should be empty message input we call the clear message input then uh, get text of uh, edit text and compare it to empty string the next one is uh, the input wasn't empty the result should still be empty so with the rope electric you can uh, set views properties and then retrieve them because it's uh, better to test views this way than mocking them with makita and then verifying with makita it's kind of uh, just more work to do. So here I've uh, preset input as uh, it has some text, then call clear message input and verify that it's empty. The next one is enable send button 
this one when it's disabled it's uh, half the opacity and it's uh, disabled as a property so we test an enable send button first it was disabled and the result should be enabled so I preset the button here which sets the alpha and sets it to disabled then call the enable send button and uh, verify that the button is uh, enabled by retrieving views properties pretty convenient and the same for the rest of the test basically it's all the same i preset views and then call the activities methods and verify with junit so this method is uh, adding a string message to the list of strings mocked here and notify us uh, recycle view adapter that item was inserted so when i have a null input it shouldn't do anything and here i verify it with makita because all of those are mocks same with empty string and when it's a normal message i just I verify that list messages uh, added to this string and with the recyclable adapter i verify that it hold notify item inserted zero because the initial size of the list was zero and now finally we can test listeners so some few simple methods to test calling the correct methods of presenter on user events so when message input is changed we verify that presenter was called with this string when send button was pressed and input was empty we verify that presenter is called with empty string and the same with regular message we verify that send message of presenter was called with this string and let's run our tests yeah most of them failed as and as you see it's not as speedy as test when they, with uh, just a bare makita local test the initial test took uh, 26 seconds to run it's the it's just the initial uh, spin up which takes that time and uh, the actual tests take about quarter of a second so it's kind of doesn't align with the tdd principles of a quick light test because 30 seconds to run test suite is I think it's too much each time so it's somewhere in the speed it's somewhere in between a local uh, unit test and instrumented tests and basically I have the whole thing implemented here setting up listeners for views on text change just uh, call the correct method of presenter with this input and uh, when send button was clicked I call the presenters uh, sent message method with the input the same for view implementations clear the message enable send button if it uh, wasn't enabled just optimization and yeah let's run our test now right and all of them passed which means that we have the correct implementation of a view and uh, we call the presenter methods in the right way it's still a unit test so obviously we don't have the complete app yet but we tested the you know the parts that we want and we don't worry about the working parts of uh, other stuff because we're still building our app and in next post we're gonna cover instrumented uh, tests and uh, espresso ui testing all the cool stuff so stay tuned subscribe you can get the source code on github link is in the description and talk to you later